Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, Force here with some more StarCraft II commentary. Today's series is going to be between QXC and ESC Daisy. This is going to be a Terran versus Protoss, QXC versus Daisy here on the map Taldarim Altar for game number one. And I do want to let you guys know I'm uh, really excited to get rolling here with these uh, StarCraft II commentaries, mainly because over the past couple of days, literally a metric ton Okay, maybe not literally, but just a an absolute unbelievable amount of StarCraft II replays uh, went up on GosuGamers.net, I believe it is. I don't think it's .com. GosuGamers.net is uh, where I get a lot of my StarCraft II replays uh, most of the time. That and SC2Rep.com, as well as uh, DropSC.com. So all three of those websites, really great to get some replays. But the point being, just a ton of games have gone up from some recent tournaments there on that website. So I'm really excited to get some uh, StarCraft commentary out to you lovely folks, and hopefully we get to see some good and exciting games here. Now, uh, both QXC and Daisy are strong and exciting players to watch, so really, really happy to get this underway. Been seeing a lot more of QXC lately. I think that's going to be attributed to the fact that he has finished schooling. I think he took a little bit of a break because of school, and I do believe at this point that he's getting back into things. Someone might want to fact check that though because I, I'm not 100% certain if that is actually the case. But all I know is I've been seeing a lot more QXC replays popping up. So that's just my assumption as to the reason why. Who knows though, really. And again, a uh, big shout out to GoToGamers.net where I get this replay and uh, where I get many of my replays as well. And for those of you out there who maybe are late to the game or interested in getting into StarCraft II commentary and haven't before... Check that website out. Lots of great replays, lots of great games for you to cast. All right, Daisy now with the Assimilator up. Getting that saturated right away is uh, Gateway now finished. We'll be seeing that Cyber Next Core come through, and there we go. Both players now scouting out. Probe Scout for Daisy checked upper left. QXC checked bottom left with his SCV Scout. Now QXC, QXC getting a full wall off there. Also with the Quick Tech Lab here. Very, very interesting from QXC. Let's see if that's going to be some early Marauder pressure or if he's going to be opening up with a Reaper for some scouting. Marauder it is. Opens up with the Marauder. Wouldn't be too surprised if we saw Concussive Shells here too to go along with that. There it is, Concussive Shells. So QXC opening up with some Marauder pressure here. We'll have to see how effective that is going to be. Back over here for Daisy. Cyber Next Core now finished. Chrono boosting out. The Warp Gate Research also Chrono boosting out that first Zealot. Following that up immediately there with the Stalker. Marauder now heading to the upper right hand position. We can see here QXC has finally scouted out upper left So now he knows for a fact where Daisy is because he's checked both other positions We've, we've got a pylon over here. This is gonna be for proxy Stargate. I'm thinking Daisy a little bit of funkiness going on over there in the lower left hand position now Marauder pushing forward. He does not yet have Concussive Shell. It's just about to finish, and that Zealot is trapped. See you later. Stalker's going to make its way down to try to assist with that. Zealot trying to force back the Marauder. Actually, QXC with a little bit of Miss Micro ends up taking some damage there to the Marauder. Going to be able to kill off the Zealot. And he's going to run away. Yep, yep, they're pushing back with another Marauder. So now he's got two, and he can continue to push with this. Now back over here, we do have that pylon in play, but nothing doing there for Daisy. Daisy's now focused on defending himself from this early Marauder pressure. There it is, hidden gateway from Daisy over here in the lower left-hand spawn position. Moving on up into the main are the Marauders. SCV scout gets taken out. Marauders now going straight for that cyber core. We do have two stalkers in play. Also a sentry coming out. Trying to micro back with that Marauder. Ends up losing it though. Marauder is going to take out that Stalker. We do have this Stalker engaged in that Marauder. He's going to pull back with that. Gets away. Close. Yes, he does. Nice micro there from our buddy QXC. However, that Stalker is going to be pushing back right now. Sentry out is going to force that back as well. Total of three gateways over here. So we're going to be seeing a four gate from Daisy. The question is, is he going to be able to take out QXC with that push? Now we do have a Reaper Scout moving out. And yeah, he's going to be pushing straight up into the main base here of Daisy at the moment. QXC doesn't know what's going on. This hidden four gate could be a bit problematic, especially if he's not expecting it. Which we have to assume he is not. Again, he scouted the main and saw pretty much nothing. Now he has to, of course, assume that Daisy has something somewhere. But the question is, does he know what that something is? We have a pylon here placed in a forward position for Daisy. 
QXC now with two bunkers. Again, he hasn't seen precisely what's going on, but that alone is cause for concern and trying to make sure that you're taking the, uh, the measures necessary to be sure you can defend yourself. Now he does have a total of four racks in play. These three churning out Marines. That one's coming out with those Marauders. Second bunker just about finished. Daisy now placing another pylon down. This time a little bit closer here to the natural expansion of QXC. Uh, not a lot of eyes here for QXC at all. He did get that Reaper Scout into the main. It looks like that was killed by the Stalker. But he just pretty much saw what he already knew, so nothing new in that. Here comes the push from Daisy moving forward. Ton of sentries. This is going to be used to try to force field around this and stop repairs. Let's see if QXC can survive this. Now if he can defend this push. And taking out those bunkers and taking out the natural expansion, then he's got this, but the question is, does he have enough to defend? Not looking too good as the sentries with the guardian shield helping to overpower QXC's forces right now. We see another warp in, more stalkers coming through. That bunker is gone. The expansion is now in trouble in QXC. They're gonna be having a hard time here trying to place a few more bunkers inside of the main. One Marauder just about to finish. He'll be lifting off the barracks after that. Trying to save the Orbital Command by lifting it off and pulling away, but there's so much anti-air. Daisy's able to take that out. See you later. Orbital Command gets taken out. Now all of a sudden QXC is in a very tough position. Let's get these two bunkers just about to finish there. That one's almost done. Force field making things a little more difficult here. And that Guardian Shield cuts back on so much damage early on. And look at how effective Daisy's push is being here. As QXC's forces continue to dwindle. All the SCVs come off the line now as QXC is doing everything he can to try to continue to stay in the game here. Right now he's got absolutely no mining going on. There's a force field. Lots of SCVs lost. Ouch. QXC having a very hard time here in the early game. Now Daisy hasn't transitioned at all. He's continuing to push with this four gate. Also got a pylon now right in front of that natural expansion. QXC with all the SCVs now off the line. Going to be moving forward. Once more, trying to do what he can. A few more force fields get placed down. A stim pack finished is going to help out QXC a bit, but I don't know that it's enough. I don't think it is going to be. He's already lost so many SCVs. 32 workers killed there for Daisy. And QXC forced to call the GG. Unbelievable. Incredibly effective early game aggression from Daisy. With a hidden foregate in the lower left-hand portion of the map, which went unscouted by QXC, Daisy was able to push out with his early aggression and make for a quick victory. Very effective push. One of the very big things here to keep in mind is that Guardian Shield really cuts back on that damage there and makes things a little bit difficult for QXC early on, especially starting out when he wasn't using Stim Pack. Uh, really had a very hard time against this aggression. So very, very impressive and uh, strong push here from Daisy. That was game number one. We'll be moving on to game two in just a moment. As always, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.